Well, good morning, or I guess good afternoon. Close to noon. Good early noon, guys. We're trying to get some hay made, and right now we got I got my buddy running planter over. We're finishing up a field of a field next to grandma's farm for soybeans and since it's soybeans i was like just yeah go ahead and finish it so he's running he's finishing that so me and buck are working on getting this uh, grass build up we're not sure if we're going to flip it and ted it turn it to hay or if we're going to keep it to grass we're not too sure but we're going to figure that out here got a little more soybeans we got to put in the ground and then plant 75 1975 plant 75 season will be done i think we're full on bales buck yeah, you know, I'm trying to get all these things unloaded since we still haven't gotten that from last time's rain. Where'd you go? There you are. Kind of stuck between here. I mean, I don't want to stack all those, but we're probably going to have to at some point. We almost have too many bales. I'm saying we got to try and find out if Jeremy still has that uh, bale guy that comes around. Yeah. I know, the hay, I know the hay people around, like hay people, the horse people would want some bales. And then we got to feed... Uh... Well, you know what? We could start getting that TMR mixer going too. True, you could probably take a few of these over there. I'll just tote this thing over yeah, there. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll in. toss them in from there. We're gonna run over. Yep, we don't have any hay in here, so we can keep filling this up with hay. I'd say we could toss like five or six more bales in here, and then this will be full of hay. Oh, that's good. Start throwing them. Yep. Playing trick style back there. <laughs> Probably gotta be getting close. If anything, just keep going because then we don't have to worry about it. Oh, oh it's yep, full. You're good. Yep. Okay. Wait for next time. You be red. We might want to also start looking into doing some maintenance on that combine. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it once August hits. Do it last second. That sounds like a horrible idea. Yeah. Well, then why do you want me to do it this? Do you want me to just start unloading bales here so you can get on there? Because I yeah. think it's also supposed to rain again. Well, let's, let's toss bales. No, we'll, I got my buddy. Want me to give you a ride over there and we can just start kind of pitching them in? Yeah, let's toss them to the cows here. Let me see if I can close that gate up a little bit. Is she going to make the turn? Nice. I don't know. We're about to find out. I'm not sure if the duels are going to fit, though. Yeah. That oh, should be good. I was going to say we could always trade this for a 656. Oh, oh you're going to decapitate. <laughs> okay, I hold on. Just throw it in the bale. Oh, yeah. oh. start throwing them in the trough. Yeah, like an assembly line. Just start putting them in there. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I can fit them that good. I'll try. Oh, <laughs> one for you one. You want to bet? One for one. Hold on, hold on. Gosh darn it, you can't move. God, gosh darn it. Buck, I'm going to smack you with a bail. Well, you ain't paying me anyway, <laughs> so start throwing. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best okay. idea we've ever had. Yeah. There we go. Get another one in between there. Ooh, this, this might be a tough one. Yep. Okay, Buck, <laughs> we'll switch. It's your turn. See oh, if boy. you can miss. Do not miss. I'm five for five. Uh, if you, oh, six for six. five. There we go. No, 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 you're four for five. Team Murphy. Okay, she's in first gear. Don't miss. Don't miss, Buck. Oh, hey, I, that counts. It'd be nice if I could just jump off, but, and just leave her in first gear and we can toss out bales. <laughs> You're like you'd leave the steering too far to the right and you'd take out the side of the shed. Yeah. This is honestly the best idea I think we've ever had. Oh, no! Oh! Keep going, keep going, we'll get it. This last one. Nice. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Well, we're done here uh, planting soybeans. We are going to have a lot of crop acres this year. We got to make sure that combine's in tip-top shape too. Um, but 
My buddy, he took his truck home and then uh, we just finished up planting here. We got some hay and then, heck, we got to put some more seed in the ground. Fields 33 and 34. We still got to put seed in the ground over here. Well, we got rained out. I'm trying to get this thing inside. It started raining right when, we're, right, when it was, uh, right when I was driving home here. I guess we could probably just let her sit outside how dirty she is. I gotta get the seed inside too. We don't want, want these bags getting wet here. You know, I, I never realized this sound effect in Farm Simulator until now. Listen to the raindrops hitting the cab. That is cool. That is a cool little detailed sound effect. And then heck, we gotta get this hay inside too. Don't want this to go to waste. We'll get this inside. Wind's coming too. We're gonna get inside here. Next day, it's May 1st. Got the cows fed. It's still raining. Well, it rained and now me and Buck, we're gonna, we pulled the bale wagon out. We're gonna toss the rest of the bales here. There you go. Buck's gonna push these bales up. Get her! I age power, baby! Oh god. Okay. We're gonna get the baler hooked up and we're gonna go bale the rest. We're running into an issue where we don't really have many buyers for all these bales, seems like. Do you want to go plant? We got those two small patches to plant. Do you want to you want to knock out those? I can head out there. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. I'll take your truck with me so I can get the seed out of the back. Okay. We could Shouldn't uh take too long. Well, we should probably clean her up after planting season. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. She's a little dirty, but she's I a good old really workhorse. Need oil change too. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh yeah, figured out. Okay, I'm gonna keep bailing. Sounds good. We are not using. Well, this would be kind of cool, but we're not gonna use the 1586 on the baler. I'm just trying to get the baler out of the shed here. Well, heck, actually, we're gonna drop the uh, loader on this quick. We probably won't need it on for a while, and heck, I'll just put the loader in here for now. Well, we're gonna rake everything quick and then hook up to the baler, get things bailed. Buck's going out to plant. We're knocking it out. As you guys can see here, our, our corn's coming out pretty good too. It's coming up even through the rocks. Crazy nights, I figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met, you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's breaking. Well, she's all raked. Now we just gotta hook up, hook back up to the baler. Not gonna lie, okay, it would maybe be nice to have, cause we got, we kinda have like some mediums. Did we just leave that tractor? Somebody dropped that tractor on. It's probably me. But anyways, we have kind of medium sized like tractors. I kind of like some of these smaller tractors that are good for like haying and stuff. Cause like the, the front wheel drive 1586 isn't the best for, you know, haying. Well, we're working her.
That's one heck of a view. We got the 1206. She's got a little more ponies under the hood than, uh, you know, the 4020. So she does pretty darn good on this baler. Well, most everything's done. When I'm turning corners, there's always a couple of bales that just come flying out of here. We gotta toss in here quick. Gosh darn, we're filling up with bales quick though. Heck, these hay acres are probably gonna be like some of our most profitable ground, I bet ya. They're really helping out the farm in these tough commodity times. Okay, we're good. We got one more over here. We got to toss in yet. Well, I think for now we'll just leave it connected. The baler connected. And then Buck had to run. He, I, I don't know, he had to run to the bathroom quick. He didn't have any toilet paper with him either. So he ran to the bathroom and I got to finish up this plant in here. This is just kind of a giant weed mess right now, so we're really going to have to put some good pre-merge down after we get all the seed in the ground. Get a really good killing on this stuff. And we're done planting, officially, for the 75 season. Uh, and Buck's still not back. Now, it would be nice to get a sprayer bot of some sort. It would be super nice to get a sprayer bot of some sort, so we get spraying. Right now, I've been hiring the neighbor to do some spraying for us, but heck. We got all this equipment and stuff. We could either get a, or we could get a cultivator. Because right now, herbicides really aren't that good. So we're, we're probably going to need to buy a row crop cultivator too to go in between the rows. Knock out all the weeds. Yeah, we'll figure something out. But, anyways guys, thanks for watching this one of the 70s. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.